Hi, this is Holly, better known as the Fingernail Fixer. Thank you so much for joining me today for this nail tutorial. For this video, let's take a look at the application of Famous Names Boost. Start off with a natural nail manicure. You want to do meticulous cuticle work using your favorite tools. Here, I'm just going to use a pusher followed by a curette. I've sped this up a little bit so that it doesn't take a lot of your time watching. I have separate videos showing cuticle work by themselves at normal speed. So just pusher, curette, you can do a dry manicure or use your favorite cuticle products, whatever is your favorite. Make sure you're using nippers only on actual cuticle, not on living tissue. The boost requires no buffing of the nail surface. So the only thing you need to use your nail file for is shaping, no buffing. Did you catch that? No buffing, just shaping. Once you have your natural nail manicure done, your shaping is done, you don't have any little fringy extra bits hanging off the edge or under the edge, you've done really good cuticle work, you're ready to go, you're ready to do your sanitize, which is going to be your nail cleanser. You're going to scrub that nail really well with the sanitize. It smells really awesome. So you have this nice cinnamon smell going on. Make sure you're pulling the skin folds down out of the way to do the sanitize so that you get down in those sides nice and good. Scrub under those edges. And this client is perfect for Boost. She is my gardener and she sometimes wears gloves and sometimes doesn't like to wear gloves. And so she gets those nails that are just stained from years and years of gardening and they are peeling. So when we seal with the Boost base coat, it's really handy to flip the brush around backwards so that we get a seal into those peeled layers. And if you'll kind of twirl your brush around the neck of the bottle when you're pulling it out, it helps get rid of the excess on the wand. So it's not as likely to drip down the wand while you're trying to apply and get a big old blob of base coat on the nail. You can seal the nail side to center if it's long enough, or like I said, if you have some peeling or if you have a short nail, you can flip around and scrub it backwards, whichever way works for you. You actually want to scrub the base coat into the nail. So you're not brushing it on like a heavier layer of polish or gel polish. You're literally scrubbing the base coat into the nail. So this is great for those peelers and those weaker natural nails because you're literally scrubbing the base coat in, making sure it has a great adhesion. This is where that no buffing comes in handy because if we buffed that nail, we'd scrub that base coat in and you would almost have too good of an adhesion. So make sure you're scrubbing that base coat in really well to get a great adhesion. Here's that backward seal for those peelers or for those really short nails. Just flip the brush around and seal the edge by scrubbing it backwards. If you have a super short nail, just pull the skin down out of your way with your thumb and then scrub the rest of the nail like normal. If you have a bulge of skin at the end, you can keep it pulled down with your thumb to keep it out of the way while you're scrubbing the rest of the nail. And then once you have the entire hand sealed with that base coat by scrubbing it in, you're ready to cure on your gel setting on whatever lamp that you're using. And Famous Names has tested the Boost with all of the regular lamps. So you can use it with the majority of the regular LED and UV lamps. You wanna make sure your lamp is not more than two years old. You wanna make sure that it's a high quality lamp. It's gonna be 30 watts or more and it's going to need to be a good quality lamp. So if you have gone and got that $30 lamp off of Amazon, that's gonna be a no-go with the Boost. 
Work some gel into your brush if you just opened a jar of Boost and you've never used a gel brush before. Use that little foil seal to work some gel into the Boost. Work some gel into your brush, sorry, and get the air out of your brush to make sure that you have got some gel worked into that brush and you're not as likely to have bubbles. Seal the ends of the nail with your Boost and then go over the nail and get a nice thin layer of the Boost. Because the Boost works in such a wide variety of lamps, you wanna have a nice thin layer to ensure that you'll get a good cure. The thin layer is also necessary for a great product performance. It's not necessary to do thick layers of boost. You don't need a thick layer for a great strength. We're, so we're just putting on a nice thin layer of boost and curing it on the gel setting in your lamp for one minute. So nice thin layer brushed on with your favorite gel brush, cured in that high quality LED lamp for one minute. See, it's nice and thin. Make sure you're not touching the skin. It levels itself out just a little bit. And then we're ready to apply a second thin layer. We wanna build it in two thin layers versus applying in one thick layer to make sure we get a great cure. And again, they've tested it in multiple lamps. They've also put in several different types of photo initiators to make it more likely to cure in multiple lamps. So normally we would need to get the lamp that goes with the product. They've actually put in multiple photo initiators to make sure that it works in multiple lamps and tested it with multiple lamps. So you see if you look down the barrel Nice, thin, thin layers. Is it two layers of the Boost or as thin as one layer of gel polish? We've applied very, very thin. So your Boost can have a high shine top coat applied or you can apply gel polish. So let's go ahead and apply gel polish if this client needs a little bit of strength and she wants to wear some color. You could go ahead and come in right over the cured boost with a layer of color. So the boost becomes your base coat for your gel polish. This means we would go straight into gel polish color. Our boost becomes the base coat. And this means that you can now do gel polish if the gel polish you normally use requires buffing. You can now skip the buffing step because Boost doesn't require buffing. So now you can eliminate the buffing step from your gel polish. Apply the Boost, go straight into your gel polish, do two layers of color like you normally would with your gel polish. Cure those the way you would normally cure them in your lamp. Once you have your gel polish layers cured the way you would normally cure them, notice the boost doesn't really add a lot of thickness to the gel polish. You still have a nice thin gel polish application. The nail still looks nice and thin. You can come in with the boost high shine top coat. Apply that high shine top coat just like you would have applied your normal gel polish top coat. And this is just gonna seal everything in, give you a nice high shine, and complete that boost wear and strength. Give you a nice high shine, and encase that gel polish in there with that boost system for some added strength and smoothness and shine. You're gonna cure that on the gel setting for your lamp for one minute, just like you did for the Boost Gel. Notice it's still nice and thin. And look at the difference of that groove nail, 
how we got that nice smooth look with the gel polish. So all those grooves in her natural nails are now our little secret. Remove that top film with your isopropyl alcohol. Tell her about the wonderful benefits of using daddy oil every day at home. She needs to get some for home use. Apply and massage in. Definitely make sure that she's thinking about taking some home as you massage in and explain the benefits. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. Definitely make sure you're following me on Facebook or Instagram. I would love if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and I hope you found this video educational and beneficial. Have a great day.